Hi guys, I'm back with another video this week to talk to you about one of my favorite things to talk about of all time. Books! I love books. They are just amazing. And I have been loving on these books that I'm about to tell you about right now. So, if you want to hear more about that, then totally just keep watching. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, so I wanted to start a book club series so that I could talk with you guys about some books that I've been reading lately that I totally love, and you in turn could tell me about some books that you've been reading lately that you totally love. Because right now, I need some recommendations. I am in a reading slump, and it's bad. The only books I've been able to really think about in depth or read in any seriousness has been the Shadowhunter novels since August. Yeah, no, I haven't been reading a whole lot since I finished those books because I'm really worried. Lord of Shadows messed me up good. That was not a way that I would like to end a novel, but they did. And I'm worried, guys, and I can't think straight. I did, in January, end up reading the Ruby Red Trilogy by Kirsten Gear, if that's how you say her name, and it was weird, but good. I don't have my physical copy to show you, because I lent it to my mother, but here's a picture of it. it it's about a girl and a time-traveling gene, and it is really crazy. And the only way that I can describe it, it was probably the weirdest trilogy I have ever read in my life. But it was good. Weird, but good. You should give it a shot and tell me what you think below. Then, I went to the library and I picked up a book about one of my other current obsessions, Alexander Hamilton, and it's really big, and I'm really hoping that it'll help me get over my schlum. So far, it's really, really funny. I'm only a, a few pages in, but this guy, it's hilarious. I can see why it inspired a musical, you know? It's really funny. Then I thought I'd go to the classics, right? The things you read when you were a kid or a preteen that you really liked. And it changed the way that you thought about books, but you haven't got back to it in a while. And I tried that with Inkheart. And I didn't get very far. Now, Inkheart is really, really great. It is about a girl named Maggie and her dad, Mo, who has a fun little secret. And they both love books. Mo is a book doctor, and I can't really say much because it gives away a lot, but it's really, really good. And it has three books, Ink Heart, Ink Spell, Ink Death. I have yet to read Ink Death. I need to read Ink Heart and Ink Spell again so that I can read Ink Death. And hopefully I can do that soon. Right now, the only thing that's going through my head is Shadowhunters, and it's getting tired. So that's what I'm going to talk about most of the time in this video, is the Shadowhunter novels. Now, first things you need to know about the Shadowhunter novels is that they're called the Shadowhunter novels because they have multiple series. We have the Infernal Devices, the Mortal Instruments, and the Dark Artifices, along with standalone books such as the Bang Chronicles and Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. There's also the Shadowhunter Codex involved too, but that's not actually a novel. It's just a fun book that's connected and mentioned in these books. It's like in Harry Potter where it has the Tales of Beetle the Bard and Quidditch Through the Ages. It's like that. It's a book that's mentioned in the books that is published. Um, now, Shadowhunters are about Nephilim, half angel, half human, defenders of humanity against the shadow world, which is where anything magical resides, like fairies and 
vampires and werewolves and warlocks and demons and angels. And they are basically the protectors, or as stated in the actual books themselves, the cops of the shadow world. And the mortal instruments is the one that most people talk about. It's the middle one, it's the big one. It's the one that has the show called Shadow Hunters, which is how I found it through the show. I know that's backwards, but that's besides the point. I love the show. It's different yet similar. It's great. Totally watch it if you're into these. Tell me what you think about it if you have watched it. Um, but we're going to be talking about the books because it's book club and the books of Shadowhunters, they're my favorite way to experience this world. Just purely for the fact that you just get more. Because she's not limited by anything. She can make the world as big as she wants to. She can include as many things as she wants to. There's a lot more snippets of things. And not everybody has to read them the way I read them. But the way I read them, the first time I read them, was chronologically. Starting with the Infernal Devices. I started with the Clockwork series. And then I went on to the Mortal Instruments. And then I read Shadowhunter Academy and the Bang Chronicles. This is a picture of it. It's, it's super good. Um, and then I went on and read the Dark Artifices what they have so far and again I don't have a physical copy of it because I'm waiting till they look like these books because I these are aesthetically pleasing to me but here's a picture of Lady Midnight which is the first one Lord of Shadows is the one that wrecked me I have to wait this is the last one that I read I have to wait clear till December for Queen of Air and Darkness. I recommend reading The Infernal Devices first simply because they are the ones that happen first in the timeline. And you definitely won't get spoiled for anything in here because they happen a 100 years plus of the Mortal Instruments, which is great. But these, this is my favorite series out of all of them because the bonds between the characters and the characters themselves are simply just beautiful. The Parabatai bond between Will and Jem is my favorite Parabatai bond. Which is saying something. The characters in these books are amazing. When you read these books, you are following along Tessa. I also recommend reading these books first because she doesn't know about the shadow world and she discovers it so you get to learn about things world build with her also there are tidbits of what happened in this series sprinkled throughout um the end of this series book four and on and i loved finding them because i read them back to back Infernal Devices and Mortal Instruments, and they were so good. So I recommend reading them chronologically, simply because it makes more sense to me that way. Um, you could read it publication order. You could you could read the Mortal Instruments before you read the Infernal Devices, but the way that City of Heavenly Fire is. Um, I didn't let my Parabatai read the epilogue of City of Heavenly Fire simply because I was worried that she would be able to guess the ending of the Infernal Devices series. And Cassandra Clare said herself that you could read it that way. But I really think that if you don't want to take a chance being spoiled, read it chronologically. Read this after you read the Mortal Instruments because literally the first part of this book gives away the ending of City of Heavenly Fire. And so you will spoil yourself for it. Also, read it before the Dark Artifices because while you don't have to, it makes things that they say in the Dark Artifices sweeter, you know? Just, just a little bit more perfect. My favorite 
is just the characters themselves. I love the way that they interact with each other. I love the bonds between the characters, the relationships, the love, the hate, the the angst, and the just the gross. The characters themselves are my favorite part. So I would definitely recommend reading these books and I would definitely recommend reading them chronologically because I just think it makes the story that much sweeter when you find the little tidbits that are sprinkled throughout them and you can identify from where they came. I highly, highly recommend all of these books to you. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and tell me some books that you want me to read and your thoughts about all these books as well. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and my Twitter. Subscribe so that you can get next week's video because it's gonna be amazing because I'm gonna sit with my nice cup of tea and talk to you about one of my fandoms, but I don't know what fandom I'm going to be talking to you about. I'm gonna put the names of some of my fandoms inside my Yahtzee TARDIS game and draw them out so I don't know what fandom I'm going to be talking about and that's all gonna happen next week and I think it's gonna be pretty awesome so I will hopefully see you next week. Bye!